What's going on guys? Welcome in. Adam here from OrlandoDrummer.com. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out this drum lesson. Today what we're covering is a advanced chop that is a, a pretty cool crossover lick. Now, for me, this is what I call the perfect crossover because the things that I look for in a crossover fill are that it's flashy, that it's um, not too difficult for me to do at a high speed, and that it still kind of sounds cool because it's not all about aesthetics. We still need our fills to sound good, even if it is somewhat of a show-off lick. So for me, this is the perfect crossover lick. Now guys, this drum lesson is the first in a series of nine videos. Now, this new package that I've come up with is my advanced gospel fill package. So these are some of my favorite patterns. They're covering 16th notes, 16th note triplets, and 30 seconds, all in somewhat of a gospel context. So they're meant to be played at very high speeds and have really interesting orchestrations and dynamics uh, all throughout these fills. Those eight fills are played at the end of this lesson, so if you'd like to see what those are, you can check them out at the end of this video, and all of those are available for download on OrlandoDrummer.com. Now, on to today's lesson. This lesson is a pretty simple one. Um, it's not too difficult until we move this into 30 second notes. But we're gonna start out by learning this fill in 16th notes. So the linear pattern that we're gonna to have to learn as a 16th note fill is right, left, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, right, left. A really easy way to remember that is that it's two groups of six and one group of four. Right, left, right, left, kick, kick, and we play that one more time, that's our next group of six, and then we have our group of four, right, left, right, left at the end. Let's try this out as a 16th note fill, we'll try it at a couple speeds, and then we'll move on to orchestration, how we can get this guy crossing over. All right, guys, if this linear pattern is feeling good, the next step is to start to orchestrate or move this around the drum set. Let's just look at those first four notes, right, left, right, left. It's gonna be one E and up. That first right hand is going on a snare drum. The second left hand is going up to our rack tom. The third note, which is a right hand, goes down to the floor tom. And then that last left hand in this little grouping goes to our hi-hat. So we have snare, tom one, tom two, hi-hat. Then we have our two kick drums, and in that middle group of notes, this is where we're going to actually play our crossover. Here's the interesting thing about this crossover. We're starting already crossed over. So we're basically uncrossing, and that's that aesthetic look that we're going to be, we're going to be achieving when we play this at a high speed. Our right hand is going to play the hi-hat. Our left hand is going to play the floor tom. Then we're going to uncross and play those again. Right hand on the floor tom, left hand on the hi-hat. So again, we'll have hat, tom two, tom two, hat. So it's sort of interesting that we're uncrossing instead of crossing over, but it still has the same look of a crossover fill. Now in the third section, because we're learning this is a 16th note fill, we need to do something that's a little bit conclusive that really ends this fill. When we put it in 30 second notes, we'll do something a little bit different here. But for now, the last four notes of this fill, four E and a, are just going to be played as a walk down the drum set. Right on the snare drum, left on tom one, and then two notes down on the floor tom. Let's give this a shot as a 16th note fill. We'll play it at three different speeds, and then we'll move on to how we can phrase this into 30 second notes.
right, guys, now the next thing we need to do is put this into 30 second notes, and that's a lot easier than it might seem. We're gonna look at a pattern of six notes. Now, that pattern of six notes is gonna be right, left, right, left, kick, kick. Now, if we play this pattern five times, that gives us a total of 30 notes, and all we need is two notes at the end of that to complete a bar of 30 second notes. We're gonna take these exact orchestrations that we had from the 16th note fill, and we're gonna apply them uh, to this 30 second note fill. So, the very first time you have a pattern of right, left, right, left, kick, kick, you're gonna be playing right on the snare, left on tom one, right on tom two, left on the hi-hat. The second set of six notes will be our uncross pattern. And then we're gonna repeat that for the third set and the fourth set. You're gonna do the walk down, ending with that left hand on the hi-hat, then our uncross pattern. For the fifth set of right, left, right, left, kick, kick, that's gonna get us to 30 notes. That fifth set is gonna be that walk down the drum set. Right on the snare, left on tom one, and then a right, left, down on the floor tom. After that, you're gonna have our two kicks completing the fifth set of six notes, and then you're gonna have a right, left. Those are gonna be played down on the floor tom. I'm gonna put this whole pattern on the screen. I'll play it at a couple speeds, and we'll see how this guy sounds in 30 seconds. Thanks so much for checking out this lesson, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, stick around. I'm about to play the next eight lessons that are in this series. All of those are available for download on OrlandoDrummer.com. I hope you guys will grab this advanced gospel pack. There is a lot of good stuff in there.